What you have to know from today's lesson is that DNA and RNA are very different molecules. They have some things in common, but by and large, they are different molecules. So, to cover that, let's make a little Venn diagram. First of all, DNA is a large double helix, whereas RNA is smaller and it's a single helix. So, whereas DNA is made up of two helices, RNA is just one spiral helices. Okay, another difference between DNA and RNA is that DNA uses deoxyribose sugar, whereas RNA uses a ribose sugar. DNA uses thymine as its nitrogen base, whereas uracil is what RNA uses in thymine's place. What they stand for, of course, DNA is deoxyribonucleic, all one big word, acid, and RNA stands for ribonucleic acid. They both take their names from the sugar that makes up the nucleotides. What do they have in common? Both are polymers of nucleotides. Both are nucleic acids. Both are macro molecules. So that's DNA versus RNA. I want to take a moment now and actually uh, sketch a DNA molecule so you can see how it's done. In order to sketch a DNA molecule, what you really would do is sketch a nucleotide. A nucleotide is a sugar, a phosphate, and a nitrogen base. Now, there's two types of nitrogen bases, what are called the purines and the pyrimidines. Purines have two rings, and so that would be something like guanine is an example of a purine. Right under it, I'm going to draw another nucleotide, a sugar, a phosphate, and this time I'm going to do a pyrimidine, a nitrogen base. This one would be cytosine. And then I'm going to scroll this up, and we draw another one right underneath, another nucleotide, a sugar, a phosphate, and a nitrogen base. This time I'll do a purine again. And this time I'll make it adenine. Okay, so these are actually connected, the sides, the sugar phosphate backbone, and it continues on. Obviously, DNA is very a very, very large molecule. But we're just going to draw a few of the nucleotides. Um, this is called the sugar phosphate backbone. And the rungs of the ladder, this is one side of DNA, are made up of the nitrogen bases, the Gs, the Cs, the As, the Ts, etc. We number our carbons in our sugar, one, two, three, four, and then there's a hidden fifth carbon that you don't see in this little diagram, a fifth carbon. So this is actually considered the... 5 prime side of DNA, of this DNA strand. And this here is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 again. So this is actually the 3 prime end of DNA. Okay. 